वेलकम बैक टू द नेक्स्ट लेक्चर ऑफ इलेक्ट्रोमैग्नेटिक इंजीनियरिंग सॉरी फॉर माय वॉइस एम वॉइस एम नॉट दैट वेल सो इट मे नॉट बी दैट क्लियर एंड आई मे कफ इन बिटवीन सो प्लीज पैडन मी सो द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक एंड द लास्ट टॉपिक फॉर द फोर्थ मॉड्यूल फॉर ई एच टी सी एंड सेकेंड मॉड्यूल ओनली फॉर ई टी आर एक्स इज वेव पोलराइजेशन ओके so what is polarization so so far you might got up an idea what is a wave so i'll assume you know it so wave polarization let's see what it is so we have a electromagnetic wave right so it is composed of what it is composed of fields electric field and magnetic field and we know that electric and magnetic field are always perpendicular to each other right and they travel in a plane perpendicular to that of e and h right so that's why it is called as transverse electromagnetic wave <coughs> right so this wave from this wave we also study something called as wave polarization so next thing we need to understand is obviously it is dependent on time because from ultimately from where we get that wave we get from the ac source right remember it should be time varying so time varying indicates it should be a ac source only very basic concept if it is a dt dc source will we have something varying with respect to time no because if you draw the graph how will it be constant for a dc source but as compared to a ac source what will happen it will vary with time sinusoidally or co sinusoidally however is the source so whenever it is varying with time then only all these concepts which are studying which we are studying in this course are applicable they are not applicable if a dc source is applied i am not saying that fields will not be generated if you are giving a dc source a electric field will be generated but it will be what static so that is the first topic which we studied electrostatic if you are giving a uh, current which is constant you will get a magnetic field by ampere's law but again it will be static so when it will be time varying only when the ac source is given so the wave will be generated only when the ac sources are given so then only they will be dependent on time right so now it is observed that the electric field is always having a its tip of the vector the that is the temporal behavior of the electric field of the wave at a given point in space is nothing but the wave polarization okay so if you see now it is very hard to show like this in the class it is very simple so if this is my electric field so if it is going like this so this i'll show it like this so what is this is the tip of the electric field so you assume this is the electric field arrow so it is traveling like this so what is happening it is the tip of the e vector this is the tip of the e vector right what is it tracing it is tracing a line so it is called as linear polarization so the temporal behavior of the electric field at the tip of the e vector gives the polarization so in this case since it is tracing a line it is called as linear polarization if it is going like this well it is traveling as well as rotating in circles such that it is tracing a circle then it is what circular polarization in the same way if it traces a ellipse like this then it will be what elliptical polarization so this is nothing but wave polarization <coughs> okay so wave polarization is defined by the temporal behavior of the electric field of a pem wave at a given point in space so you get a straight forward question define wave polarization explain the three types of polarization 10 marks okay so this is the definition okay okay so <coughs> we can say this in different words as in other words the state of polarization is given by the 
geometrical shape as I said while explaining which the tip of the electric field E vector draws as a function of time again at a given point in space okay so this is what you can write about wave polarization then directly we write so since it is tracing some shape so obviously the there is some thing about it is talking about locus right so the equation of the locus of e vector is given as <coughs> i'll take a new page purposely because i require this equation it is given as e x square upon e x naught square minus 2 e x e y upon e x naught e y naught cos phi <coughs> plus e y square upon e y naught square equal to sine square phi okay let's say this is equation number one <coughs> so what is e x it is the x component of electric field and what is e x not it is the maximum amplitude of the x component of electric field similarly we can define e by n e by not okay so then phi is the phase difference between e x and e y okay so this is the equation for the locus of the electric field in general so we have three cases for three polarization so let's take the case one linear polarization so for this phi is always zero that is the only condition so if you substitute phi is zero what is cos zero cos phi is zero right so cos phi will become cos zero so cos zero is one so this will be as it is what will be sin phi sin phi is zero so this term will go to zero so what will this be of the form let's say this is a e x upon e x naught is a so e y upon e y naught is b so this is a square this is b square so this is e x upon e x naught into e y upon e y naught and this is one remember so this is of the form a square minus 2 a b plus b square so what i can write therefore a minus b the whole square right so therefore e x upon e x naught minus e y upon e y naught the whole square and as i said sin phi and phi zero is zero so what we get therefore e x upon e x naught equal to e y upon e y naught so what we get so therefore e y y component of electric field is e y naught upon e x naught into e x so this will be varying right since they are components of x and y but these are constants as i said these are amplitudes so this is of the form if i say this is along y axis this is along x axis so this is of the form y equal to mx so this represents what a line so this locus is generating what a line so that's why this is called as linear polarization very simple right <coughs> so what we'll write this is the equation of a straight line and what is the slope m with slope e y naught upon e x naught so the tip so we are interested to find the polarization so for polarization we are interested in tip of e vector so tip of e vector therefore what it does draws a straight line when phi equal to 0 irrespective of the amplitudes of e vector <coughs> or precisely of e x and e y so this polarization is called as linear polarization so this we will write for i am writing only for the first case next case is i will just dictate it so you can write it in your books i am assuming you are using your books
Okay. That's why the lectures are short, uh, short in fact. As I said at the start of the lectures when you started in June. So let's take the case number two. So what is case number two is? Uh, before that, we can see some special cases further here. So if I see, <coughs> I'll use a different page. So if I say ex0 is 0, so what will happen? So if I am drawing this line, it will look like this since it is, so it will be exactly at 45 degree. So if I see ex0 is 0, means there is no component of x, right? Means only y component is there. Means what this line will go exactly vertical, right? So in that case, it is called as vertical polarization okay so i'm not writing this but you have to write this in for the 10 mark sensor so you can explain it this way then if i say e y naught is zero what will happen i will not have any y component so all the component will be x only so this line will become exactly vertical so slope will be zero so this will be what horizontal polarization right and what if e x naught is e y naught i'll get a straight line with an angle of 45 degree Right. So this is called as linear polarization with 45 degree polarization angle. So 45 degree becomes the polarization angle. Okay. So I just missed that. So I took it. So next is case two. <coughs> so case two, and it is circular polarization. So for this, the condition is phi should be either plus pi by 2 or minus pi by 2 and EX naught should be EY naught and let's say it is equal to E naught in general. So these two conditions, if they are satisfied, then we'll always get a circular polarization. So what will one becomes then equation one becomes. So this is equation one, what we have? Phi is pi plus or minus pi by 2. What is cos pi by 2? Cos 90 degree, 0. So this term will go away. Entire term. What is sin pi by 2? When? So ex square upon ex naught square plus ey square upon ey naught square is when? And we have said these two are equal. So ex square plus ey square equal to e naught square. So this is the equation of what? ex square plus e y square equal to e naught square. So this is of the form x square plus y square equal to r square. Right? So which is or which represents an equation of circle. So further what we will read? This implies that the tip of the electric field E vector draws a circle as it traverses in free space or in the any medium. So therefore, this polarization is called as circular polarization. Okay. So again, what are the conditions for this? That phi, that is the phase difference should be plus or minus phi by, pi by 2, sorry. And ex naught should be ey naught. That is the amplitude should always be equal. Then what is the next case? Case 3. It is elliptical polarization. So for this, phi is not equal to 0 and phi not equal to plus or minus pi by 2 okay and one more condition is there that the amplitudes are not equal because if you get the amplitudes are equal it will be circular polarization <coughs> so if you substitute again here what will happen you are not getting so you are getting in general this equation only right so what is this equation of the type x upon a the whole square plus y upon b the whole square equal to a square something like that. So this represents what? So you will again write that and you will just say what is the, the equation which is the equation of an ellipse. Okay. So therefore, this type of polarization is called as elliptical polarization. Why? Since the tip of the electric field vector traces an ellipse as it travels along in any medium. Okay. So this is the answer for define wave polarization. Explain the three types of polarizations. Very simple question, isn't it? For three marks, right? 
and what is said in the yesterday's lecture i'll again repeat it you have three topics very important boundary conditions first which we study then second maxwell's equations so actually it is not in chronology first i should have said maxwell's equations then we have pointing theorem then you have reflection and refraction of plane wave at media interface okay so from these four topics at least two are asked in the exam and those two mark as for 10 marks each so from this four marks sorry four topics itself how many you can score 20 marks then and there so this topics make sure you don't keep in option i am also considering numericals either you will get a derivation for boundary condition or you will get a numerical okay either you will get the derivation for maxwell's equations or you will get a numerical so if you have a doubt that what are the you have not taken numericals on maxwell's equations i have taken what were the questions electric field was given something they had asked to find h vector d vector b vector so this can be found out using point form of maxwell's equations okay so that those are the numericals on maxwell's equations so you can just see the videos you will get them then pointing theorem usually a numerical is not as so derivation is usually as and remember along with the explanation of each term students usually attempt this but they are not able to explain the term so i have explained them clearly and i think i have noted down also in the lecture so you can see that lecture and study this then reflection and refraction again derivation or numerical so from this four topics again i am stressing that two questions are asked and each is of 10 marks and this has happened in each and every exam okay so you can just go to the websites which uh, host question papers so i hope you know which are the websites which host question papers you can go to www.mu question papers.com so you'll find old as well as new question papers from these websites mu it is mumbai university and it was for third year for now it is in sem 5 if you want old papers you will have to go to ac sem 4 it was called as wave theory and propagation back then so wtp you can search okay so we are not at done we have to do one numerical and then we'll stop very simple numerical so this was usually this was asked in the first question itself for a compulsory part that is for 5 marks so identify the type of polarization of the electromagnetic wave with following electric fields and justify the same <coughs> so e vector is sin of omega t minus beta z x cap plus sin of omega t minus beta z plus pi by 2 times a by cap and e vector is e1 cos omega t x cap minus e2 sin of omega t e by cap times e raised to minus j beta z okay so how to solve this usually students are perplexed what we have to do they skip this question but we just took the topic right so what is happening we have this general equation but you see these equations are very different okay so don't have to worry you just see the condition if it has identify the type of polarization right so it has to be either of the three linear circular elliptical so check the phase difference what is the phase difference zero what is the so we have as i said we have two components x and y so in the both the equations we have x and y components right so that we have so just check the phase difference what is the phase difference here sin of omega t minus beta z plus 0 sin of omega t minus beta z plus pi by 2 means the phase difference is 90 degree right so it is not zero so it is not linear then we go to case 2 what is the case 2 phase difference is pi by 2 so it is probably the answer why am i saying probably because the amplitude should be equal so let's see the amplitude what is the amplitude here 1 what is the amplitude here 1 so they are equal so this is which type of polarization circular isn't it simple you don't have to write the answer directly remember if you write the answer directly you will get zero marks you have to first write this equation then you can say since the amplitudes of the x and y components are equal which are one volt per meter equal unit for electric field and the phase difference between the two components is pi by 
the polarize the type of polarization is circular polarization this complete sentence you have to write so from this one sentence itself you will get 2.5 marks isn't it very simple but usually students don't attempt so then we have x component as e1 cos omega t minus e2 sin omega t so you might say there is no phase difference but observe here this is cos of omega t this is sin omega t so sin omega t is what cos of omega t minus pi by 2 or plus pi by 2 i am not sure but what is the phase difference again pi by 2 right so phase difference is again pi by 2 so and what is the amplitude but the amplitudes are different right so phase difference is pi by 2 but the amplitudes are different okay they have given e raised to minus j beta z also so does that make a difference so cos of omega t minus beta z e raised to j theta is cos theta minus j sin theta so cos beta z minus j sin beta z so it will be multiplied everywhere okay so this question is wrong itself it cannot be in this way either this has to be sin or this has to be cos because the conditions are not satisfied right so this question itself is wrong okay but since uh, you see the amplitudes are different so it will be elliptical only so you don't uh, so this should be either cos or this should be sine. So these conditions will be satisfied. Then what we will see? Since the phase difference is neither 0 nor plus or minus pi by 2. And also the amplitudes are not equal. The type of polarization is identified as elliptical polarization. So let's say I make this sign. So this is which type of polarization? Elliptical. So the question itself was wrong. Okay. So we'll stop here.